In this video, you will learn how you can create a scheduled meeting in Zoom directly and automatically from Google Sheets application. So in this process, we are going to connect Google Sheets in the trigger and Zoom in the action step of our automation workflow in such a way that whenever you are going to add the details of any scheduled meeting in Google Sheets, automatically a scheduled meeting will be generated in Zoom application. Okay, and we are going to set up this automation without any coding very easily. So let's start. So we are using Pabli Connect to set up this automation. And this is the landing page of Pabli. From here, you can set up your free Pabli Connect account and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. Okay, so I have pasted the same link in the description as well. So you can just sign up right now. And after that, you have to sign in and reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect like this. And from here, you have to click on this create workflow button. And here you have to give a name to this workflow. So I am giving the name here as a create zoom meetings from Google Sheets. <clears throat> All right, so after giving this name, just click on this create button and you can see your workflow page is getting ready here. And on this page, guys, you will find these two modules, the trigger and action. So with the help of these things, we can set up this automation. So the trigger here is that event which is going to start this workflow and the action would be the response towards the trigger. So in the trigger module, first of all, you have to connect the trigger application. And it is that application in which the trigger event is going to occur. So in our use case, Google Sheets would be our trigger application and adding of any new meeting details in a row will act as a trigger event, okay? So search for Google Sheets here. Right, here it is. And in the trigger event, select new or updated row option. And it will give you this URL. So with the help of this webhook URL, guys, you can make a connection with Google Sheets by following these steps written here. Okay. So guys, you can just follow the steps and make the connection. Let me do, show you directly how you can do that. So guys, first of all, you have to open your spreadsheet in an incognito window if you are using multiple Google accounts in the same browser. Okay, so it's better to open it here on incognito mode. And here, guys, you will find this extensions option. From here, you will find this add-ons. And from this add-on section, click on get add-ons. Okay, so this window will open up Google Workspace Marketplace. And from here, you have to search for an add-on which is called Pabli Connect web hooks search for pably connect web hooks and you have to install this here so it will just take two minutes to install it and after installing this you have to refresh the spreadsheet that is an important step okay after refreshing when you click on extensions again uh, you will find let me show you 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 will find this pably connect web hooks add-on available in the drop down menu okay and from here you have to click on initial setup <clears throat> And under initial setup, you will find these two fields, the webhook URL field and the trigger column field. So in the webhook URL field, you have to paste the webhook URL that you got from the workflow. And in the trigger column, you have to enter uh, the last or the final data entry column of the spreadsheet. So what is final data entry column? The column in which you are entering the data at last that is going to trigger the workflow. So here you can see we are adding these details about the meeting, the topic of the meeting, the start date and time of the meeting and the duration of the meeting. Okay, so this C column is going to trigger the workflow as and when we are going to enter the duration, the workflow is going to trigger. And after creation of the meeting, the meeting joining link will be updated in this T column automatically. I'll tell you how. Okay. So C column is our trigger column. So first of all, let's get back to our uh, workflow and copy the webhook URL. Click on copy here. Okay. And go back to the spreadsheet in incognito window. And here, click on extensions, public connect webhooks, initial setup. All right. And from this field, let me remove this previously pasted URL. And let me paste this new one. And the trigger column would be C column. Okay. Right. And here you can see in the workflow as we have copied the webhook URL here, it started showing waiting for the webhook connections response. This means now you have to perform a test submission. 
Test submission means you have to uh, bring some test data from your spreadsheet to here in this workflow. And with the help of that test data, we are going to set up the automation further. Okay. Now to bring the test data here, you need to go back to the spreadsheet. And from this initial setup only, you will find this send test button. So by clicking on send test, you can send the test data. Okay, so the data of the first row that you have entered here will be sent as the test data in your workflow. Let me show you. I'm clicking on send test. So this is the response. You can see the test data sent successfully is written here. Let's see in our workflow if we got the data. And we have received the response like this. You can see it is showing the trigger column as C. The topic of the meeting is probably can I get together, the start date and time, the spreadsheet name, and all the things are here. The duration is also here. So these are the same details you can see that got captured here like this. Okay. Now with the help of this test data, we are going to create a meeting in Zoom. Okay. For that, we are going to use this action step. And here we are going to search for Zoom application. Okay. And the action event would be create a meeting. Okay. Then click on connect. From here, select add new connection Then click on connect with Zoom. And from this window, you can see as we have already logged in in Zoom application here, it just got connected here like this. Okay. And here it is asking for the topic of the meeting, the type of the meeting, the start day duration. And these are the things which we are going to map from this previous step. Okay. So here you can see guys, we have the topic, we have that meeting type and here it is asking for the start time. So you have to place the start time of the meeting in this exact same format. Okay. In GMT as this Y, 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 M, M, D, D, a T in between then hours, minutes and seconds. Okay. This is given as example, but here we have received the time in this uh, form. You can see. So we are, we have to change the format of this time, start date and time for that. What I'm going to do, just click here in on this plus icon in between these two steps. And another action step will open up here. And from here, we are going to search for date time formatter feature of Pabli. Search for date time formatter. All right. And in the action event, select this option format date with time zone. Okay. And click on connect. And here it is asking the date. So here I'm going to map this date label. Okay. That we have received from Google Sheets because we want to change the format of this date and time. Okay. So to map this date, just click here and the previous step will appear like this. Just click on it and here it will show you the start date and time. Click on it to map it. And here it is asking from format. So we have received this date in this format. So you have to choose this format from from format option. And in two format, we are going to use choose that format in which we want to convert the date. Okay. So just click here and select this format, the two format, which is okay, which is this DD MM YY or minutes and seconds. Okay. Right. And in the two format, I'm going to select this one only. YY MM DD a T in between hours, minutes and seconds. Okay. And this is the same selected already here. No need to do anything. Time zone, my time zone is Asia Kolkata. So I'm going to select that only. And I want to change it to Asia Kolkata only. Okay. Now click on save and send test request. And here you can see the date format got changed here. Date and time format. Now we have a T in between and the time is in this format 24 hours clock format. Okay. In GMT, right? Now we can use the data here. And so here we have topic field, just click on it. And you can see as I'm clicking here, uh, it is not showing the previous steps. Okay. So what we need to do here, we need to refresh the connection because we have added one more step here before this step. Okay. So to refresh the connection, just click on connected button one more time. And from here, keep this existing connection option selected and then click on save again. And your connection with zoom will be refreshed. Okay. Like this. And now when you click here on the topic field, it will show you the previous steps. So we are going to map the topic here from the first step. So click on this Google sheet and click on topic to map it here. Select the meeting type as scheduled meeting. Okay. Because we are scheduling this meeting into a future date. Start time would be, we are going to map it from this second step. 
okay <clears throat> duration from the first step you will find the duration here okay time zone password and agenda is not compulsory so you can if you want to fill it you can fill it or you can leave this blank i'm just showing you the demo so i'm leaving these things blank and so here you can see guys in my zoom applications uh, dashboard uh, we do not have any upcoming meeting right now okay so i'm going to click on save and send test request button here to see if if uh, this workflow uh, create a test meeting here or not okay so i'm clicking on save and send test request and this is the response we have received okay so let's check in a zoom if we got a new meeting created so i'm refreshing the upcoming meetings page and here you can see guys a new meeting got scheduled here on september 10 december sorry saturday 10 december 1 p.m to 2 p.m pavli connect get together is the name of the meeting and these are the same details that we had here in the spreadsheet and according to the same details a meeting is generated here an hour long meeting automatically okay so connection is working fine now lastly we want to update this meeting join link also in this d column so you can see here uh, in this response we have received uh, in this response we have received a joining link of the meeting as well so when you scroll down here here you can see guys we have this start meeting url and the join meeting url okay so we are going to place this joining link here in this field okay for that just click here on this plus icon and search for google sheets again and the action event now would be to uh, would be update cell value this one update cell value okay then click on connect and now we are already connected with google sheets and all the connections that you make here with applications are saved in your account so if you want to make the connection again in the same workflow or in different workflow you can use the existing connections for that you just have to select this existing connection option and click on save one more time and the connections will be created again okay no need to follow a long step okay so here you can see we are connected and here it is asking for the spreadsheets name so my spreadsheets name is this zoom meeting details and i'm going to select it from here sheet name is sheet one we have only one sheet here that is sheet one okay now it is asking the range of data where you want to update the cell value okay and you have to put the range like this c5 that uh, like this you can see c5 that means column c row number five okay here guys i want to update uh, the meeting link here in this column in this cell and the range of this cell is d2 you can see here in the name box d2 that means column d row number two okay so here i'm just going to put capital d manually and as you can see we are updating the first row here so the column uh, so the row number is two and similarly when we are going to add new rows the row numbers are going to change but the uh, column remain the same okay so what i'm going to do here i have placed d and now to put the row number i'm going to use the test data that we have received from the trigger so just click here and from this first step just map this row index label here okay so that it is going to change automatically with every new row and the new cell value will be updated here so that the link will be placed in a correct place okay now it is asking for the value that you want to place there so i want to place the meeting link from this third step the joining link which you'll find here just map it okay now click on save and send test request button and see if the uh, cell value is updated or not and here you can see this is the response let's check in the spreadsheet and the meeting link got updated here in this cell automatically okay so this is how it is going to work guys so we are done setting up this automation and uh, after setting up this you don't have to do anything manually after that after that guys whenever you are going to add any zoom meeting details here in your spreadsheet the meeting will be scheduled in your zoom application automatically and the joining links will be updated here automatically okay the workflow is going to run in the background for you all right so guys you can use this workflow as well because i'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description and you can clone it in your own free pavli connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know 
how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel